everybody. This is Darwin Reina, the festival director of Hospitalejo, Vega International Film Festival. I'm very happy to be the festival director of my city. Today we have a great filmmaker. I'm definitely amazed by, by, by his film, actually, Siren, which is in our festival. I suggest everybody to come and check this film because it's really, really amazing. It's really well done. So we have uh, Christopher. Christopher, how are you today? I'm doing great, Darwin. How about yourself? Very good. We're happy to have you. We just want to discuss about this. This is like a masterpiece, Chris. Let me oh. tell you like that. Uh, we really enjoy it. I really enjoy your film. Tell me, where do you get the idea? Why do you make this film? Uh, let's see. Um, well, I was really interested in uh, kind of cre creating an, an art film that was also, um, let's see, like, like, like a thriller in terms of, well, I originally got the idea of, um, well, from my experience of uh, one day being uh, pulled over by a cop about maybe uh, 14 odd years ago. Wow. And um, I was also um, inspired by uh, the likes of, of um, like Under the Skin and uh, movies of Brian, other Brian De Palma and uh, Brian De Palma movies like, uh, like Sisters and as well as uh, Errol Morris's The Thin Blue Line. The, um, mm, and I, I was also really intrigued by, um, by, by the concepts of uh, you know, like mind control and uh, brainwashing people and um, more or less, you know, like those types of, um, you know, like themes and scenarios just sort of like, you know, like just brewed in my head until um, it just sort of uh, kind of felt like it's like until I just sort of like s snapped an idea that made me feel like I, I just I just had to do this. I had to like, you know, like follow it through and uh, just let my imagination just carry me wild. Wow, interesting. What about the, I mean, the film, the cinematography is really well done. I mean, I, you can't really tell there's a cinematography behind that film, you know, because how do you pull that off? How long it was the, I mean, you, the pre-production, I guess you did a great pre-production to be able to do that kind of cinematography, is that right? Yeah, the production, um, was uh, incredibly tight because uh, we were essentially, um, I, well, we were all part, um, my class was creating this as, we're doing our own thesis projects. So we had about maybe 25 productions um, happening um, uh, like over about a period of about uh, two months. Um, let me see. I did an awful lot of uh, prep with uh, Ben. Uh, you know, like I just mm -hmm. essentially just showed him a lot of uh, concepts and movies, uh, particularly Peter Greenaway films, because I was like really fascinated by like, you know, like the use of the shadows and the lighting. And we really yeah. worked hard to uh, create uh, the, you know, like this very kind of like strange another verse, um, you know, like through um, the lighting as well as using uh, the practical lights of um, this uh, police light bar that um, mm -hmm. I rented uh, from, I got like an established uh, film car um, 911. It was called Film Car 911 uh, House. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like renting that uh, police light bar was just about um, the best $300 I uh, spent on that production. <laughs> I mean, that, that thing just really paid off in dividends visually wise. Definitely. So the post production, I guess it was long, right? It was long and hard. Very right? long. I mean, I had some, uh, I, I had the luxury of being able to do the color correction uh, for the most part at home, uh, you know, like during uh, my spare time between work. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a real labor of love, but uh, man, it's, uh, it really consumes you after a while. <laughs> Definitely. So how was the editing process? Uh, do you edit yourself? Was somebody else doing it? Working together with somebody else? How was that? Um, I didn't necessarily have that uh, luxury to work with anybody else, um, you know, like like editing the movie, um, you know, primarily because um, our initial product, uh, our initial post time was just so tight. I mean, you know, believe it, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, as opposed to uh, the color, which I took my time with, um, an awful lot of it was just, um, mm -hmm. I mean, the, an off, the, you know, the schedule of this was really, really tight. I mean, again, we were just, uh, you know, like running, you know, like we just, had an awful lot of plates to spin and uh, you know what with uh, you know doing tests and um you know working on other productions i mean it's uh mm -hmm. it i mean that time was a real blur but uh, you know like again like you know, like i really pushed myself because i really wanted to uh, you know essentially create this uh, this movie that's just mm -hmm. been like on my mind for the last uh, three or four years chris uh, what about music how do you work with the music? How do you choose the music? How freedom you give to the composers? 
how's your approach and how you work with the composer? I worked with uh, Alessandro um, uh, Sani, who was based in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, um, we, we, we communicated back and forth, mostly by email. And um, right. I also uh, created a, a template of, um, of a, at least about two and a half hours uh, worth of um, music that I just more or less you know, went over um, I create well. I mean, I, I created a video that essentially gives them like you know, like an awful lot of like musical samples and inspirations, mm -hmm. as well as um, you know, like writing out like you know, like an awful lot of um, you know, like notes about you know, like okay, well, you know, like let's say like take something from here and uh, you know, like take an, an inspiration from this part and maybe work with something along this tempo, and um, you know, with the uh, the composers that I've worked with um, over the last. Uh, few years um i've actually had enormously great feedback from them they they you know, they they do compliment me saying that that you know you're that i really understand how music works and that i communicate what i want and uh you know like what kind of uh, you know, like emotions and uh, uh what and, and and the type of uh tone and that i really want to capture and more often than not, they feel like they need to like drag it out of the filmmaker. Supposedly, they don't really know exactly what they want. They claim, but you know, but I do. Mm -hmm. And anyway, so you just pretty much have to know, you know, give them enough uh, direction, and then just uh, let them fly. I like that approach. Actually, it's very, very good. I love that freedom, you know, to give to people, to cinematographer, bring your ideas, feed me, you know, let's. It's a collaborative. Exactly. Uh, projects, right? Uh, how do you work with the actors, Christopher? Uh, do you have a, like a, you also give them freedom, or you are more like he is more here? How's your approach? Every director is different. How's your approach with actors? Well, um, what's interesting about Siren is that um, two of the characters, you know, like they have like specific backgrounds and histories because um, you know technically they go you know, like well, okay, well, ten, well we have two characters who are like regular who are more or less regular people with you know like with complexities and nuances and uh the other two actors are um rather alien uh, you know, i'm referring to the cops um mm -hmm. they are like they're not necessarily like of this world so um they didn't necessarily have um again like, you know, like anything in terms of like history or you know, like but Primarily, all they really had to work with was, or at least what I gave them to work with, was a sense of like attitude, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for them to uh, essentially, uh, you know, like play like uh, like off the cuff. Whereas right. um, I gave an awful lot of like you know, like background and history to uh, the you know, like the two to, to the two leads played by uh, Dolly Halsman and uh, Aaron um, mm -hmm. um, Aaron Morgan. Okay, Christopher, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we're very happy, like I told you, to have you in our festival. It's an honor for us to have your, your film. We're looking forward to meet you in Barcelona. Chris, come to Barcelona, all right? Of and, course, and, thank you very much for uh, selecting, for selecting Siren and for nominations. I mean, we're, we're, really, we're, we're really honored by this. Congratulations, Chris, and thank you for your time for this great interview. We, a lot of people is gonna learn with all your, with your expertise that you have in filmmaking. Um, I'm one of those already. Thanks, Christopher. Have a good day, and I'll see you in Barcelona, right? Of course. Take care, Darwin. Thank you, Chris. Bye.